welcome back to the channel tonight we are going to crown the g1 champion g1 climax 30 2020 bushi versus sonata we're gonna do a review once the show had finished but you know what fuck it we're gonna do a watch along i'm stepping up my game here we go um now if you're not a new japan fan and you're new to it no it's not a one match show um it probably could be nine times out of ten years gone by the final has always been real good um but no this is not a one match show so um earlier in the night taichi zack saber jr dookie and el desperado suzuki goon uh defeated chaos team of toriyano tomohiro ishii yoshihashi and haroki goto um lij team of hiromi takahashi and shingo takagi defeated another suzuki goon team of minoru suzuki and Yoshinobu Kanemaru, um, Master Waito, Jeff Cobb, Juice Robinson, and Hiroshi Tanahashi defeated Jay White, Kenta, Gato, and Taiji Ishimori. Uh, the new team or faction, whatever you want to call them, of Will Ospreay and Great Okan um, with B Priestley by their side and her stardom championship, that was interesting, uh, defeated Sho and Kazuchika Okada. And Yujiro Takahashi and Evil defeated the LIJ team of Bushi and Tetsuya Naito. So, that was the undercard. Five matches there. Evil and Naito looks like it might continue. So, if that batshit bores you, then sorry to inform you. But that looks like it's a thing. And in which case, I think Naito will prevail in the end and go on to face the winner of the match we or i am about to watch i am looking forward to this i the first time since i've been watching new japan i've never been able to watch a g1 final live um i'm not watching a live live but i don't know the winner and that will be a first for me so uh yeah buckle in here we go uh we're about to see a g1 champion crowned and I will give my thoughts as we go. Sonata's production is just so simplistic. It's just this guy with, you know, it's changed over time, but it's kept the same. It's same, same, but different all the time. It's weird. Sometimes he's got the mohawk blonde hair. Sometimes he's got this real long blonde hair. Other times he's got this long, like, beard, goatee thing that's blonde. Now it's just like a normal length blonde hairstyle with a short, trim, blonde sort of goatee slash beard, but the small mask instead of the whole face covering now he doesn't he, he doesn't show emotion he's just very I don't know something about him he needs, he needs a bit of charisma or something but he doesn't need to show charisma in New Japan it's just yeah I don't know something about this man Crowd eat him up, but yeah. No. Oh. Kota Ibushi about to make his way out. First man to ever make three G1 finals in a row. That is a feat. Absolute feat. Yeah. 2018, he made the final, lost to Tanahashi. 2019, made the final, beat Jay White. Oh, he's looking to become the first person in like. 15, 16 years, I think, off the top of my head. I think it was Tenzan to do it last. To win two in a row. Kenny Omega couldn't even do it. You know, Abushi's bloody boyfriend, Kenny Omega, couldn't do it. But he's a fucking action figure, man. He's so yoked. It's ridiculous. His trick. 
traps are huge. He's just a doll. Look at him. Chiseled. That's ridiculous. Whoa. Fuck. That's massive strapping on the leg, but Tai Chi chopped the fuck out of that thing. The longer this goes, the worse that leg's gonna legitimately hurt. Like, we're all, we all know wrestling is kayfabe. It's, it's not real. But him and Tai Chi, nothing they did was fake. They kicked the shit out of each other. And Bushi's had matches with Suzuki during this tournament. There's nothing fake about that fucking shit either. They kicked the shit out of each other. They chopped the shit out of each other. Oh, as I say, Kevin Kelly just mentions it too, so. And uh, this three-man booth too. Kevin Kelly, Kevin Kelly, Rocky Romero, Chris Charlton. That is just amazing. Amazing. It's hard to believe Kota Ibushi was in the Cruiserweight Classic and WWE had him on the uh, within you know, this within the touching distance. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. Such a different aesthetic over there. They've got crowd, but the crowd are on strict instructions to only make noise with their hands and their feet. They are not allowed to speak. They're obviously wearing masks, but they're not allowed to speak. And they are so... What's the word? Um, They're so... Ah, uh, they're so proud. Such a proud country that they stick to these these rules and regulations put in, but it's it's just amazing. You know, collar and elbow to start. You know, there's going to be a bit of first five or so, ten minutes maybe is going to be a little bit of this sort of collar and elbow push him to the ropes, clean break, rah 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 kind of stuff. Going to be a bit of that. Taping is thick, man. Taichi must have chopped it bad. Probably looks like a USC fighter under that padding, man. That's crazy. He chopped the fuck at it. That's a good point by Rocky Romero. The longer this match goes, the worse that leg is going to get. Like, if this goes sort of 35, 40 minutes, surely that leg's going to hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah, second year in a row. Someone loses their first three and then make the final. I thought Jay White lost, he lost his first four last year, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. So yeah, Sonata was 0-3 and, and everyone was like, oh, B-Block favorite, oh no, oh no. He was never going to, no. He was always going to get here. Well, I say never always going to get here. He was always going to go down to Sonata and Evil final night. And I thought Eva would win, but I was wrong. Happy to admit I was wrong. But 
Yeah, Ibushi Sonata. That's the final we got. That's the final we're getting. It's a good thing about no Bullet Club in this match. You're not going to get any shenanigans. It's going to be just two guys having a good match, hopefully. Clean break, typical New Japan, you know, on the chest type stuff. As I said, the first five, maybe ten minutes of this match is going to be quite slow. Um... Was always going to happen. So I'd headlock by Coda. It's a good point that the uh, commentators make. Abushi's wrestled a lot of his opponent style of matches through this tournament, you know. There's a massive brawl with Suzuki and brought out some old school with Tai Chi and just another brawl with Ishii. And yeah, they're all these opponent style of match. He never trying to bring his own style to matches, but and his wrestling sonata type of match here is very methodical, very Mat based, mm. or just a that Sonata bending over there, cutting with a knee right to the face. That's going to be a story moving forward, you know. Coda's knees, you know, he's Kamagoya finisher. Nothing stylistic about that, that's just a knee to the fucking head. Oh, a big chop from Sonata. Ibushi's like, yeah, okay, here we go. So here they go. Cock measuring contest for who can slap harder. Sonata's chops. Just... Here they go. Chop, chop. Uh, forearm. They've moved the cock measuring contest to the forearms now. Oh, Sonata drops Ibushi with a big forearm. Okay, okay. Abushi shakes it off, gets straight up. Oh, hits Sonata with one back. Here they go. Oh, rapid fire now. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, good one from Abushi. Double Sonata over. That was a good one. Just a kick to the chest now. Oh. Hey, I was right. Tenzan, 03, 04, last person to go back to back. I said it was around 15, 16 years. We don't. Hey, hey, go me. Mm. 
Bushi adjusting the neck. Here they go, test the strength again. Sonata's just wearing the kicks to the chest here. Just wearing them. As Sonata goes the uppercut, and oh, Bushi felt every piece of that one. Oh, a massive kick to the hammy. Oh, he's trying to nut up that hamstring quad area. Oh, another chop from Sonata. The mat wrestling's gone out the window now. They're just laying it in there. Good, this is what we want. This is what we're here for. Good shit, good shit. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Oh no, microphone down, microphone down. Oh yes, nice kick to that leg. Oh, and again, another kick to that leg. Oh, a bit of a botchy botch. Womp, womp, womp. Sonata went to drop kick. Abushi, like, went under it. I don't think it was meant to happen that way. I think he skimmed the top of his head though and it might have hurt him. Oh, Sonata back to the mat wrestling. Oh, Bushi turns it around. Modified camel clutch. Only got one one hook in, so to speak. Oh, let's it go. Grabs his leg. Bushi with an STF. Interesting. Yeah, before the match, Masahiro Chono come out. Big ovation. Big ovation. is like royalty over there. Oh, that chop was savage. Sonata did not fucking hold back there. Ooh, boy. Sonata imploring Abushi to get up. Oh, Abushi runs at him. Nice. Oh, Sonata kicks him in the head. Abushi goes down. Sonata on top here, but very slow pace. Very slow pace.
Oh, four on crumbles of your sheet. Fucking damn, man. Shit. Is it Bushi? I don't know. He might have, like, his bell might have been rung legit. Like, I think he caught on that fucked up drop kick. I thought he might have caught a foot to the head on the way through. Oh, figure four. Sonata with a figure four. Oh, boy. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, there we go. That's interesting, interesting. Chris Charlton was just explaining that Ibushi doesn't believe that Sonata, under just the Sonata name, actually fits in Los Ingobernables de Japón. He thinks that... He he believes that he wants to wrestle the real the real person, not Cold Skull. He wants to wrestle Seiya Sonata, who is his, it's his actual name. He wants to wrestle the real man. Reckons he will get more out of him that way. Roll up, ooh, mm, two there. Oh, goes for a PK, no, standing moonsault, got him. Two, no, never getting it done. Match is slowly, slowly picking up. Slowly. But he's holding that taped leg, that's gotta be killing him, man. Oh, it's gotta be killing him, killing him. Oh man, that's got to be hurting. Always limping around now too. If he had his bell ring a little bit, he seems to be like he seems to be okay now. Oh, Hurricane Rana, nice. But he's still holding that leg. Still holding that leg. That leg. Oh, up and over. Oh, beautiful. Takes him down. Sorry, my phone was just telling me that Wrestle Kingdom is over two nights again. Yes, Wrestle Kingdom two nights. Mm hmm. Hopefully, WrestleMania does the same thing again next year because it's just a proven formula. Um, you know, they're not copying. If anyone says WWE are copying with doing two night WrestleMania, same as Wrestle Kingdom, it's, it's not copying, it's just good business. Two night WrestleMania in a big stadium, if you can get, especially if they can get fans in next year, it just makes all the sense. New Japan are obviously going to have fans because they've proven that they can do it and safely. Um, if WWE can work out how to get fans, oh, drop kick, big time, nice. One, two, no. Nah. Um, if WWE can figure out how to get fans in safely and and maintain that, then and I think WrestleMania has been actually confirmed to be at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, the the place with the big fucking pirate ship. So if they can figure out to get you know half, sort of fifty percent in that stadium, if not a little bit more each night, then that that's good business. That's that's a win, and I think the two night WrestleMania really worked this year. Um, but they need to oh drop kick nice from Sonata. Um, WWE they need to stop having part timers in the main event. It's really killing it for me. Up and over, oh, big elbow, nice. Um, yeah, the appeal for Wrestle Kingdom for me is you know 
you win the G1, your main event, the Dome. Similar to the Royal Rumble. You win the Rumble, your main event, uh, WrestleMania. All well and good. That's fine. But stop having... You, you don't see... Um, for example, like last year, Ibushi wins the G1. Um, main event's night one with Kazuchika Okada. Two full-time stars for that promotion. We haven't seen that in the WWE since WrestleMania 27. What are we up to next year? WrestleMania, what, 37? It's 10 years ago. 10 years since two full-time athletes main evented their biggest show. And even then, there was a sprinkling of The Rock in there, so it was what? Um, sprinkling of um, casual in there, the part-timer in there. So, but anyway, two-night Wrestle Kingdom, fourth and fifth. Really looking forward to that again. Every year I look forward to Wrestle Kingdom. It's always a good show. Oh, Mr. Moonsault. Bushi struggling with that leg, legitimately. Oh, he's trying to get him up for a power bomb. Nah, Sonata holding on. Scoop slam, a power slam, nice. Rolls. Phoenix splash, no, missed it. Landed hard on the Phoenix. Woo. Sonata going for the moonsault now. Moonsault, no, landed on him, Land, lands on his feet. Oh, Hurricane Runner. Rishi rolls to the outside. Yeah, this match has definitely picked up. I think they got the 20 minute call. So your normal G1 match goes 30 minute time limit. We didn't get any draws. No draws through through this year's G1. So that's why I'm under the impression that this could go close to the 40 minute mark. Oh, no, nah, saved himself. Oh, big boot. We're going to get the golden triangle moonsault. Oh, he's taking forever. Come on. No, nah, Sonata moved. Oh. Sonata going for the slide. Drop kick on the apron, but no. Nah. Abushi jumped up. Come down with the stomp. Ooh, that was a nice spot. I like that. I like that. Abushi has to hit the golden triangle moonsault. Has to, has to. Haven't seen it for ages. Well, this match is really picking up. I'm starting to really enjoy it. The start of this match was real slow. But it's... it's... Oh, oh! Oh, I dropped him on his head off the apron. Fuck, that was bad. <laughs> that didn't look good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kevin Kelly, did he take them in the back of his head? Let me answer that. Fuck yeah, he did. Oh, that was bad. Oh, shit. I like how they count. While well, both men are on the outside, they, they count as if they're going to count both of them out. Like, yeah, you're going to have a double count out in the G1 finals. Get the fuck out of here. Don't even bother. <laughs> Let them sit out there for three minutes. It's not going to matter. Maybe one year they'll do it just to fuck us all. And we'll all be like, oh, that happened. <laughs> well, here we go. We're going with the, the on all fours headbutting contest. Now we're just on our knees. Oh, cock measuring contest again with the forearms on the knees. Hey, hey, they're talking to each other in Japanese. It's pretty funny. Oh, fuck, Savage Forearm. Who should give him everything there? Abushi's laughing at Sonata's forearms now. He's gone to that 
going to that place of nope. He's going to that no sell place. Just everything is not, oh no, a little bit of there. Both of them are starting to no sell their shit now. Oh, kick to the legs, smart. Oh, again with that magic screw off the top. Draped him on the top and dropped him again on the top of his head. Fuck. That was smart. So many matches in New Japan, they have this cock measuring contest where it's no forearm to me, forearm to you. Who's got the harder forearm or kick or chop or whatever? And so then I was like, fuck that, I'm going to kick in the, in the sore leg. And I was like, oh, hallelujah. Someone in New Japan is smart. Oh, Skull End. Skull End, Dragon Sleeper, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. No. Nah. Maybe she pushes him back. Oh, 25 minute call. Really? Gee, this match has gone quick. Oh, reversal into a power bomb. But, oh, Bushi hurt himself. Oh, Sanhata went for a missile. Missile drop kick off the Thompson. <laughs> Bushi just reversed it into a power bomb. Boom! Oh, jumping power bomb. Oh. Abushi is suffering, man. He's in pain. Abushi's face doesn't change a whole lot, but you can see he is struggling. But he wants it so bad. Oh, rapid fire. Oh, kick to the guts. I like it. Went for the jumping last ride. No. Yeah, man. I haven't seen Abushi struggle. His performance is still good, but he's like, you can see it on his face. He's just. Oh, everything. Everything has the facials of I'm trying to shit out of watermelon like it's everything is ouch oh setting up oh another kick to the leg oh big clothesline yes It's so old school, they call it a lariat in Japan. I love it, it's grass. I still call it a clothesline because, you know, I'm just an Aussie guy. This match has really picked up. Oh, he wound that one up. Oh, Tiger Suplex. Oh, no. Oh, this close. Oh, Sonata's got the facials going now. He's into it. TKO. No. No. Didn't get it. Ibushi maintained neck control. Oh, he's going for the Dragon Sleeper his own. He's going for a Skull End. Ooh. Nope. Sonata reverses it and then swings him around. You. Oh, he's got the hooks in now. Arm in, hooks in, dragon sleeper. Ooh. No, Abushi pops his head out. Oh. Got it again. This is normally the precursor to the moonsault. This match could be it. You know, we're at that point now where it could end at any time. Anything after 25 minutes in a New Japan main event, it could end. It could really, it could actually end. 
underneath my desk here my feet are going nuts because I'm like I don't know who's I get anxious watching so if if my desk starts to move or the camera moves it's because I'm anxious apologies red shoes checks the arm no nah. oh just let it go moonsault no but she moved Ooh, but she moved oh man a she moved there's that sexy ass trophy they're vying for. Whew, Abushi moved. Richard, check the arm. The arm dropped twice. I thought Sonata was going to hit it. There's the crowd getting into it. Claps and stamping. No voices. Oh, we've hit we've hit the half hour mark. Oh, knee. Oh, high kick to the head by Abushi. Ooh, shit. Oh, here he goes. Setting up for the Bomaye. Got it. Got him. One, two, no. Oh, shit. Channeling is in a Shinsuke Nakamura there with the Bomaye. Setting up for the Kamagoye. No! TKO got him! Woo! One, two. Oh! Oh, oh Bushi face down. Sonata. Oh, he got it! Hit it! Sonata's gonna win. Oh, knees up! He got the knees up! Oh, 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 oh. oh the sore leg butt. Oh, man. Oh. oh. Say what you will, this match has gotten good down the stretch. Bushi's got a cut above his above his left eye. Red shoes just checks Sonata. Sonata's like, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm all good. Don't stress. I'm with you, Chris Child, and I'm also shaking with excitement. Oh, back elbow. Oh, Bushi caught him. Oh, skull end. Oh, he reverses it. Oh, he's picked him up. Oh, skull end again. He's got it. Arm in. Again, no, oh, reversal by Bushi. Oh, bastard driver, like, whoo, oh, shit, oh, Kenny used to hit that one, oh, Bushi, nearly, boy, nearly, Oh, a primal scream from Ibushi. No. Oh, backslide. One, two. No, oh, he's out. Wrist control. Wrist control. No, he's holding. He's going for Kamagoye. Cross the arms. Oh, roll up. Roll up. Roll up. No. Oh. And again. Oh, 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 I thought Sonata had it. 
It was two. Only two. Oh man, that was long too. Long too. Oh, Bushi saw him out the corner of his eye. Nah, his leg gave out. Skull end again. Nah, Abushi oh, pushes him off. Pushes him off. Got him up. Nah. Oh, kick to the head. Ooh, 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 got it. Oh, Vitria. Got him. Kamagoye. One, two. Oh. Oh. Oh man, so now I just kicked out of Kamagoya. No one's ever done that. Bang! One, two, three. Ooh, shit! I'll admit I dug that match. I dug it a lot. That was good shit. Not even gonna lie. Both men are rooted. They are absolutely spent. Oh, Ooh, took two. Took two. Kamagoye is to win the damn match. Oh. Say what you want about who was in the final of that match. Slapped. So good. So good. Took ages to get going, but once it got going, whoo boy, that was good. Abushi is face down on the mat. He is fucked. Sonata's already up. He's walking out. He's cooked. Ooh. I'll be honest, I didn't know what to expect from that one. I figured the first five or ten minutes would be a bit slow. Probably the first 10, 15 was a bit slow. But once this thing started to cook, ooh, it cooked good. Abushi's fucked, but he's like, yeah, boy, I did it. Only fitting, man. He went through the... St that A block was stacked. Yeah, he had to, be he had to, he had to beat Okada, beat Suzuki, beat Ishii. He lost to Takagi. He lost to Jay White. Maybe we get Jay White and Ibushi again, because Jay would be like, you know, my fuck, I beat you in the G1. I want a shot at your... at your rights, but... Ibushi has to... They have to strap the rocket to this man. He gave up, you know, probably big money in America. You know, he could have taken the Nakamura out, but he said, you know what, fuck it, I'm going back home. And he's New Japan for life now. Seriously, they, they don't just put anyone... Clearly, no, they've never done it. They've never put anyone in three G1 finals in a row. Yeah. You know, 
Lost to Tanahashi in the longest G1 final ever. This might have actually gone past it. I'm not too sure. But he lost to Tanahashi in a slapper. Then he beat J1 in a banger. And this was another banger. Like, oh. Ibushi doesn't do bad matches. Nope. Not at all. He still can't get up. He's cooked. And that trophy is sexy as fuck. It looks like an inflated balloon, to be honest. But it's sexy as shit. I remember a few years ago when Naito won it. He was such a heel. He threatened to throw it into the crowd. I laughed. It was hilarious. They're big on their ceremonies over there too. Bushi all respect for Masahiro Chono. But there it is. A Bushi. With the trophy. Fuck yeah. Ring announcers in the ring. We might get to hear it again. Ibushi Kota! I think it's just sunk in what he's done. He's crying. Oh, that's good shit. That's good shit. He's crying. That's awesome. He is so good at what he does. He has such respect for Chono too. Oh man, so good. Oh, we don't get to hear the ring announcer announce him as the G1 champion. Boo, I love when the Japanese ring announcer says his name. He's about to talk. Oh, there he goes. Wave the flag. Ah, <laughs> uh, so good. Drapes it across himself. That's amazing. Oh, that's so good. Shaking his head, shaking out the cobwebs that he when he got kicked in there earlier. Ah, uh, G1 is over for another year. Is it G1 31 yet? <laughs> I always say I get halfway to three quarters through it and I'm like, oh, man, come on, let's end. This is just getting full on. Especially this year, like, because I crammed so much in. We didn't even know if we are going to get a G1 this year, but we did, and oh, I'm glad we did. Now it's over, I want more. <laughs> but Abush is about to speak.
Confetti rains down over the top of Koda Abushi. Saying he's going to take the case to Wrestle Kingdom and become IWGP Heavyweight Champion. I ain't betting against him this time. I I thought we were going to get Naito and Abushi last year. But I reckon that's what we're going to get next year. And you know what? I ain't mad about it because those two damn near kill each other. But if they're going to do it at Wrestle Kingdom, then fuck yeah, we're giving that shit on. So. G1 Climax 30 in the books. Kota Ibushi is your winner. Wow. What a match. What a match. He will main event. Probably night one. Maybe night two. I don't know how they're going to work it. I don't know. But that's where they have to separate the championships. I believe, but whether they do is another story. But yeah, that was the watch along of the G130 final. It was a good, good time. I enjoyed it. As I said, the first 10 15 minutes were a bit slow, but once that match started cooking, it really, really cooked. So yeah, it was a good time. So that's uh, the G130 done, dusted. So. Yeah, I'm going to do a few more of these um, watch-along type deals um, and some retro type stuff moving forward now that this is all finished. So, yeah, it's going to be a good time. So, we're on the road to Hell in a Cell, which is next Sunday for you Americans, Monday for this Australian. As I said, I'm going to do a um, watch-along of my favourite men's and women's Hell in a Cell matches leading up to that so they will come out in throughout the week so keep an eye out for them you can check out the the socials my twitter is just um there yeah right there that one um and the show's one is at the hop pod at t-h-e-h-o-p-p-o-d oh that was a good time i enjoyed that thoroughly enjoyed that so yeah i'll be back with um some helena cell watch alongs and also some other retro stuff coming up through the week and moving forward. So, yeah, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys in short order in the coming days throughout the week. Until next time, bye.